Intelligence. Strategy. Wit. Teamwork. These are skills you will not find here. For this is a tale of dunces and dumbasses. Welcome back to Alitos, everybody. We got our dumbasses and dunces amongst us. And, uh, you know, we let's start with our boy, Harry. It's your boy, Harry. Harry the monk, coming with a lot of spunk. <laughs> Ooh, a spunky little, little ball of fur. Yeah. Then we got our <laughs> oldest gentleman, probably holding his own little, you know, thermos over there. We got Porker. Porker, giant Spain. Alcoholism, more like schmalcoholism. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't. It's yeah. <laughs> a terrible, terrible <laughs> message to the kids. <laughs> I was saying, you know, only could go up from here. Only, true. True. only That's true. up from here. We haven't peaked yet. We have not peaked There's yet. There's no peak yet. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, because they are exactly in the middle in height, we've got Joe. Giant Oak Warrior at your service. Here to have fun. <laughs> and also, <laughs> also maybe use a flame blade or two. <laughs> Spoilers. Hey, I don't, she, she has I a don't think she understood that it was a rhyme yet, but she'll, she'll she figure that out. Make one. You can't just make me make one. <laughs> I did. <laughs> she, 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 she will figure it out by next week for sure. <laughs> but... But let's talk about last week before we keep moving over to next week. So I'm going to start with a little little bit of a recap. Uh, last time we were introduced to the world of Halitos, a world in shambles now that the god of all judgment and ruling has passed and only passed through murder. When we started our campaign, we've been introduced to our three lovely main characters, Joe, a adorable little mogwai who rides around on a magical dragonfly that he has named Horse. We also have our lovely other short fry, the shortest of fries, Harry, a small ball of fur that no one really knows what race he is from a distant country on the other continent of the world. He is a fighting monk who only knows how to be spunky. You gotta use your own rhyme, it was too good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and a quick crowd favorite of the guild master, uh, Big Beard. Yeah, and go. last but certainly not least is Porker, an alcoholic widowed husband who's only trying to get one last call every time at the bar. What if their and characters sound so much more hopeful than mine? <laughs> There's a lot of reasons. <laughs> a lot of reasons. <laughs> These three very unlikely teammates joined together. Big Beard sent them off on the mission that Joe humbly requested that the guild assist in. They were brought to the attic where they were shown the guild's magical telescope and were shot off into the air. And I believe that's where we are now. So as air. you guys <laughs> are feeling just this absolute nothingness, only the only thing you have is your own mentality. You have no body. You don't feel anything. You only can sense and like understand that you are light traveling through the sky until out of nowhere, the three of you all just instantly are like beings again standing in the middle of the woods and joe you know this area of the woods but it's definitely not like your village mm -hmm. it, you're you're clearly like close um but it, it it's there's just trees around you right now but you can see like you know, old traps that people, uh, that mogwais of your village have used. Um, so clearly it has to be somewhere nearby, but right now all you see is trees. Okay. So first thing I would do, I need to orient myself, right? We're close, right? So this is nearby. We got it. I think my village is north of here. 
All right. Harry starts walking. Oh, give me. Do, do you want to give me a nature check? That is smart. I am. Or, 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 or does anyone dice. want to? Does anyone? Do you don't have your dice? Oh, you don't have your dice. Oh, nice. <laughs> what are we doing here? This guy over here, I got mine organized by their sizes. I know Jordan's gritted over there because he's got them organized by his sizes. Nice. <laughs> I only have Louise. one dice of each, to be fair. You got my <laughs> dice. Okay. I was say, and I will, I will give anyone the opportunity. Um, Joe, you can obviously do this with advantage. Um, either nature or perception, you guys can give me uh, a check. Okay. Don't need um, it. I'm, she said north. I'm going. <laughs> you, you don't even want to take a look around? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Harry would start walking until he's redirected to go the right way. <laughs> okay. Great. So where we're going. I know where I'm going. So, um, Joe, you can do some advantage. Porker, are you going to try to look around? You're, you're welcome to a perception or nature check. Would we have uh, any idea I about this area? I feel like a... I wouldn't. You wouldn't, what but... I, what, what is Porker proficient in? He's not proficient in anything. I think he feels very nature-y right now. Let's do a nature check and see what's around. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I would say, you might not know, like, where the village is, but that doesn't mean you don't have, like, general survival skills. Oh, okay. You know, and, um, and in fact, you can roll survival. Can I roll, yeah, can I roll survival? I feel like that, that's more Harry's game. Yeah, Porker yeah. rolled a seven. Seven? He does not okay. have general... <laughs> Survival, Joe? you say. <laughs> I rolled a 15. I 15? thought it would be bad, better for perception because he's trying to figure. Totally. Eight. <laughs> Eight? Yeah. Awesome. Boom, so baby. Joe, Joe obviously is from around here. Joe quickly, you know, originally saying go north. Mm -hmm. As soon as Joe takes like a few hovers on horse forward north, instantly he realizes it was northeast, mm. and you just gently adjust, and you guys start heading down the path. Oh, it was on the path. Um, nice. As you guys start heading down the path, are you guys talking at all? Like Joe, Joe, you can kind of inform them. Like, oh, we're probably it's probably like a ten minute walk. Yeah. Right? Like, okay. Um, so like, you guys have like ten minutes of like just you're heading this way. You all were right. Just, you were just right on the outside of the village. Okay. So, so Joe, what, what should we expect in this Moblin village? So I'm from Eagle Maw, and uh, we're a really close knit community. And we uh, people leave sometimes, but you don't really want to. Uh, and so we're gonna meet my mom and my dad. Although tiny hiccup, they don't know that I left. <laughs> I may or may not have run away. So we're gonna do this very carefully, and we're not gonna get me grounded. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, kid. You point me to the nearest bar as soon as we get to town, and I won't say shit to your parents. That's I, I, awesome. Thank you. I, I don't I really don't think this is a good idea. How long ago you did you leave you home? Time. <laughs> How long ago did you leave home? It's like a solid like two weeks. I made great time. That hey, should have taken me hey, longer. Hey, hey, I tell you, kid. Sometimes lying's the right thing to do, especially if they didn't notice. What they don't know won't hurt them. That's what I. I, I really I'm don't think we help. should trust this mentor here. <laughs> I mean, hey, 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 hey. Right. Who, who did Big Bear put in charge, boy? Unfortunately, you. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are correct. <laughs> she doesn't even deny it. Okay. <laughs> Does anyone have anything else to say? <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> well, there any, oh, can I, okay. Um, 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 Joe, are there any like monsters or anything around here? Like, do we need to be worried about anything? So, yes. Okay. <laughs> Tiny hiccup. Uh. Tiny hiccup. Uh huh. Okay. So I think didn't expect to be sent here first, but I joined the guild. Because something is killing all the animals in my forest. And we're going to solve it. It's so we're just be something is killing. Okay, let me, let, me, let, me make, let me make sure I got this straight. Something is all killing something forest. in the forest. And we're just trudging on through the forest. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes. And even better, it is a virus and not, I don't know what's doing it. 
But I came to the guild for help because someone has to fix it. My friends are dying, so we're gonna do it, guys. We're gonna fix it. <laughs> yes. Oh, you were too right, full right. optimism. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> While you guys are walking, is anyone like keeping an eye out? Is anyone like looking around at the forest, like trying I, to get info at all? I think yeah, Terry, I, after I hearing there's a monster, yeah, <laughs> keeping an eye out. Right, so, <laughs> at this time, each of you can give me a perception check. Okay. Flat. It, yeah, and I think Porker has is though weathered and alcoholic has enough uh, he's been through enough experiences to, to like know to walk around and like look around all right i got a 19 19 no way i rolled a 16 16 on the die Oop, I'm okay I'm kidding, I'm two, crew. two crew hey, two crew <laughs> joe did you roll anything oh i got a 15 again <laughs> this is my forest okay. uh porker just snout deep in your flask right now. <laughs> um, just completely unaware of what is in your general vicinity. For sure, like one or two trees, though. May maybe a third. Ooh. Um, I don't know if the trees are moving or I'm drunk. <laughs> maybe the second, uh, buddy. <laughs> but to Joe and Harry, mm -hmm. uh, Harry for sure notices the movement of this. Oh, Joe, shit. you just like see like the color of this happening, but there is a small party of foxes. Uh and Harry, with your perception check, you see a rash on at least a few of their tails. Very interesting, reminiscent of what Joe was describing. Well, I think I'm gonna go raggle me a fox and go inspect it a little bit further. I don't know if it's gonna work, but that's what I'm gonna try to do. Um, they're I'm, about like 20 feet, like on the other side of like some like a bush or two. Okay, can I okay, away from you. are they running away or are they just kind of like sitting there? Kind they, of they are sitting there and they are facing away from you currently, mm -hmm. except for one of them that's facing you. Okay. And I try to sneak up to it. That that's I don't think this is smart, but I want to get a closer look. I want to like see if I can like what? Yeah, uh, roll, I don't roll, really want to because it's a disease, but that's what we're doing. <laughs> roll roll a stealth check. Okay. Um, let me. Oh, they're not looking for you, so it'll just be passive perception for them. Uh, I got a thirteen. Okay, you just barely. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> are able to get right up behind the five okay. that are facing the wrong way. Okay, can I like inspect it to see if like something like, I don't know, maybe I've, I've seen, I've, I'm proficient in like medicine. I'm assuming I learned some of that stuff back back in my yeah. homeland. Like, yeah, try yeah. To... What, are you, what are you actively trying to do? Well, it's a rash socks? you said, right? It, yeah, it looks like a rash. Okay. It that way, yeah. Okay, then I, I guess... I, I, red and black spots. Red and black spots. Okay, just something I would know or recognize from any kind of history or um, anything like that. Like, I would say, are you proficient in medicine? I'm proficient in medicine, yeah. Okay, give me a medicine check with disadvantage. Okay, yeah, I kind of. I don't really practice this, so I figured. Yeah, this is like. I got a 14. With disadvantage? Yeah, I got a 12 and a 9. <laughs> oh, wow. All you can tell here is this is not like a natural disease. Like necrotic. This is clearly like <laughs> it's either necrotic uh -huh. or or magically enhanced okay. of some sort. Um, okay. But this is clearly not like a oh you know a uh, a, a, a contaminated bug came from a different country. <laughs> like that's uh -huh. not what happened here. Uh -huh. This is clearly like causation of by something or something okay and does it seem magical in any sense uh with with this medicine check you got i'll give you it, it's definitely magical gotcha that's kind of what i figured um, yeah some kind of like i don't know i don't you know I, I would assume necrotic but that's really all i know but um okay well I'm, I'm gonna come back and relay that information real fast and i'm like sure yeah i'll let you keep the same stealth check you can just kind of walk away yeah from i mean i guess it doesn't really matter they can run off i guess it doesn't really matter to me 
I just, I just, no, you, I, fu- I skip back. Whatever. A bunch you of foxes. skip back. It's a bunch of foxes, right? <laughs> right. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I, I like. I like go away. Whatever. And the I, I foxes leave. instantly turn and face you, and you see now in their eyes there is oh, right. blood <laughs> coming out of their eyes. I fucking sprint. <laughs> as soon as you sprint, these foxes instantly take that as you were doing something wrong Oops. and they immediately start to charge you. Everybody roll initiative. <laughs> Mubby. <laughs> do, do Joe and I know what's happening? Yeah, yeah you were just watching him do this. He was only 20 feet away. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, okay. I should have, uh, yeah, I should have realized that. Aha! <laughs> uh-huh. 16. 14. Oh, initiative, right. Uh, okay, so is... we got, what well, you said, 14, 16. It's plus dex for? Yes. Okay, then oh, plus 17. dex. Sorry, that's my fault. Oh, sorry. That I is, that's 18. 18. Your initiative bonuses should be there. Yeah, you, you, oh, so I was plus, being dumb. So I'm 17 then. I, yeah, I, 17. I didn't change anything. <laughs> Amazing. 17, Matt, 14, what was Harry? 18, 18. 18. Yeah. yeah, I'm fucking running. <laughs> All right. Um, you better so, be first. <laughs> at the start of the initiative, however, uh, two foxes are going to run up and bite at each ankle of Harry's. Those are really um, small. They're really accurate. <laughs> uh, one, like, fully misses because like you guys are actively running here i okay. mean you can't always just get it the mm-hmm. other though just instantly just latches in and just gets its teeth on your ankle and like uh-huh. shreds it up Ooh. for uh, i'm so bad at math <laughs> um <laughs> oh god um for five uh, piercing damage. Okay. And four necrotic. And four you feel necrotic. like almost a poison going into your ankle itself. Okay. And with that, it's Harry's turn. Uh, you said it was, uh, wait, so it was five and four, so nine? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess I didn't, right. I didn't want to fight them. I thought that they were just. I didn't even know these are the monsters. <laughs> I thought there was another monster. At this center, Joe does shout, don't hurt my friends. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I just uh, stared at the little one. We got put these monsters look. down. Yeah, I need to. Oh, Can we God. knock them out? Can we knock them out? Is going to kill them? <laughs> that is, so that is yes. a 100% option for those of you who don't know much about D&D. <laughs> You only if it is a like a lethal strike, you kind of have to declare that if you're using like a piercing item or like you're casting fireball, like that's gonna kill. But yeah. you can always try to knock something out. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I'll shoot damage. him with my gun non lethally. <laughs> not not lethally with the gun. <laughs> In the foot. How many, how many are there, by the way? There are six of them. Jesus fucking Christ. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I just assumed they had a rash. I th- mm, okay. Well, I guess I'll attack the one. Is it still last onto my leg or is it just like bit me? No, it, just, it like shredded. Okay. Well, then it's like there's just like like scratch marks of teeth on okay. your leg. Okay. Then I guess I will attack it just kind of normally. Um, Just like totally. punch it. Yeah, punch it. The, the one that bit you? The one that bit me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, So it's Again, bear with me because it's gonna take me a bit. But I roll. We'll die. just cut this in editing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll fix it in editing. So I rolled a nine of the die, and then I have a—is it the attack bonus, right? Yes. Okay, so I got a fourteen. Well, I'm hitting with the core. Fourteen. Stat, by the way. Yeah. That just hits these. These okay. foxes. Cle- now that you like, they are on you, and they are here. You clearly tell. This is not like an ordinary fox. They look almost like they were given steroids. Oh. That are, the steroids are like killing them from the inside. Oh. So they are both stronger and dying at the same time. Okay, okay. Real bad okay. steroids. Okay. Uh, so I hit it. That's a D8. Um, and I'm doing it on lethally, by the way. Um, and that's going to be, I believe, because I get that my DAX modifier, is eight. Eight damage. Eight damage? Yep. That's a good chunk of damage on this fox. What what, right. do you, what what kind of attack did you make? Uh, that's with the quarter staff. So this your quarter staff. Yeah. Awesome. So you just take your quarter staff. You kind of do like a little flicky trick, and 
Ah! It just like bop it on the head, and you just hear it go. Row, row. Is it still still alive though? Or, oh, it's so okay. still alive. Okay, like, then I, it is just upset with you now. Okay, then I also get to do a um, unarmed strike as well as a cool. Bonus action. Go for it. Um, so that is this one. Uh, 11 plus 4, that's 15, so that hits. Totally hits. And that is 1d4. 1. <laughs> so, uh, 5 damage. You add plus 4 to your unarmed strikes? It's, it's dex, right? You add dex? I could be wrong. I could be, again, this, this is one of those things oh, that, like... Is that your I'll, dex is plus four? Yeah, my dex is plus four, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's what okay. I'm like. I'm like, I'll stealth. Fuck it. <laughs> so, you said... You, you said five damage? Five damage, yeah. Just punch yeah, it. Yeah, that, that's a much more hurt fox right there. Okay. Um, that if, if I had to tell you how hurt that fox uh -huh. was, I'd be like, that's a half hurt dead fox. Okay. <laughs> it is a half hurt dead fox. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, with that, it is Joe's turn. Joe, okay. you see your new companion running away from these foxes. They're clearly <laughs> aggravated and in pain. And Harry just got shredded by the ankles and just kind of bopped it off of his ankle. Okay. So he's seen this before and he just wants to knock them out. Okay. Uh, so they can fully sort of examine them together. And so I'm going to use my sling and I'm going to try to aim at the one that's first, the one that's hurting him. Um, awesome. Yeah, go for it. So D20? That's a D20. No. Yep. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Damn it, just as it is. Uh, two. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not it's not something to be ashamed of, Joe. You don't want to hurt your friends. It hurts <laughs> you to hurt your friends. It's it's obvious. You 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 whiff this. You're just like ah. <laughs> <laughs> he gets nervous and he aims poorly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Porker. Uh, Porker would like to shoot the closest um. Fox. I almost said wolf because I think of these as big wolves. <laughs> they're they're <laughs> basically fox. little tiny orange wolves. Yeah, yeah, the uh the closest fox to Harry. Okay, so that's the one that's hurt. Yes. Uh, oh, um, go for it. Just gonna open up a, a revolver shot. Yeah, that's only a what's my uh proficiency? Uh do I have uh, what do you it's plus one by my dex, correct? Yeah, we're doing dex in proficiency for you. Okay, yeah, it's only a five. Just, just like Joe, you just like, <laughs> honestly, not like Joe. You're just drunk, man. You just, <laughs> you just shot it in the air. You just shot a bullet in the air, and honestly, well, hold on. Wait, wait, Harry, there's, there's a wolf in the wolf. air. No, it's not up there, but, dude. No. <laughs> she's, 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 she's like spinning around in a circle and just. Oh, oh. Man. <laughs> the, I keep you, moving. Here's the thing: the gun makes a piercing noise, right? We we've all heard what guns sound like. It just it lets off this absolutely ear piercing sound that you see it irritate all of the foxes. But one in particular just falls over and is just unconscious now. Just out oh. cold done. And it, it it was not the one biting you. It was one of the ones in the back. Okay. But it is just it, he's out. Did it seem like that fox was any different? Or was it just just the fox? He just couldn't handle it. They okay. all did not like it. This one just physically Heightened, couldn't handle the sound. senses, basically? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, maybe. <laughs> With that being said, the other three foxes are now going to sprint forward directly to Porker. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> and all three of them are going to take attacks with advantage. Well, she... <laughs> what? Oh. Did you made the loud sound, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. So all it's right, like... so two of them hit. Um, it was 100% they hated him for making that sound. It oh, was okay. just awful. <laughs> uh, um, well, you got one. <laughs> so that's going to be six piercing damage and five necrotic. Okay. As these 
these two fox just go at you and just bite straight into your arms, trying to get the gun out of your hands. Oh, that's going to hurt, but I'm okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> after that, it's back to the original two foxes. And now that they're both just on you, Harry, uh -huh. and you didn't move and we're standing still. Yeah. They're going to take two. They're going to each take an attack with advantage on you. Oh. Um. Uh, does a 16 hit you? It does not. You have better AC than 16. 18. Okay. <laughs> one one hits. Wow. <laughs> I need to make my character stronger. <laughs> I, That's... I, I, you make me doubt myself. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is all right. <laughs> uh, okay. Five piercing and okay. four necrotic. So another nine? <laughs> yep. Okay. I don't know what all of your resistances are, so I'm always going to separate them for you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have any. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah. Oh, Natalia has a two? Yeah, one. she's a druid. Oh, she has the cold one, right? Yeah, yeah. I got the cold one with the ears, but I can't remember the other one. <laughs> these, I mean, these ain't no cold foxes, let me tell you that. <laughs> no, these, are some, these are some temperate foxes. <laughs> They're good. Yeah. Temperate temperature. <laughs> um, with that, it's Harry's turn. Harry, okay. what you doing? Uh, you you've got you got this one <laughs> fox that just fucking hates you. Yeah, I mean I'm a bot down the one that you know is on me, the one that I already hit before, I guess. Go for um, it. Um, and we'll see how that go. Um, ooh, I'm wondering. I can use my key points after I. Yeah, attack, you can right? use key points after. Okay, because what are they? Once you roll damage, you can't. But you like if you hit, then you can like add a key point to like stunning and they, strike they, or something. Okay, they took. They had advantage on me because I stood still. That sucks. Okay. Well, technically they would have had advantage on the first one. I just chose not to. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. More because of forgetfulness. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> then in that case, well, let's 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 attack him as normal. <laughs> let's do that. Seventeen on the die. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that hits a hits. fox. It's a fox. <laughs> 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 I'm a beat up the uh, fox. Are you are you are you going for lethal damage? Non lethal. Here, or? Non lethal. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. I'm just. I, I mean, I'm using a bludgeoning weapon. I'm trying to bop their heads. I'm playing totally, whack them totally. over here. Uh, I got a five, then plus uh, my deck, so a nine. That's nine damage. Boom! This fox, as soon as you make contact with it. You see it almost go perfectly stiff as if it was like a stuffed, like, taxidermed fox. Uh -huh. and just falls over to its right. And oh, it's just damn. like full stiff armed, stiff legged. Uh -huh. You know 100% without a doubt, it's dead. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's nice. Like, even, <laughs> though, even though you were totally trying not to kill it. Uh huh. There was no. Oh, it other... died. It actually like, died, dead. died. Dead. Dead. Bobby. There was there was no <laughs> way of stopping that. Okay, that was gonna happen no matter what happens. And you could tell the this fox in particular, the rash is every single spot on the body. Oh, there's not a single inch of this fox that doesn't have uh this rash on it. Interesting. Okay, then. Uh, Oh, go ahead. You go ahead. still have the rest of your turn, yes. Please. Yes, uh, I think what I'm going to do. There's one more on me. There's three on Porker. That is correct. Okay. Then I think the game plan is this. Uh, I'm going to use Nightmare Shroud. Uh, oh, what does that do? Point. What it does is I can choose a target. I'll choose the focus on me. Um, it's going to make a Wisdom saving throw. I'm going to basically, so I, I use a key point to assail a target with fear um, and makes a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, it takes psychic damage and becomes frightened to the end of my turn. Uh, uh, the end of my next turn. Uh, if it succeeds, they're immune to fear effects for the next 24 hours. Okay. Uh, what's the saving throw I have to reach? Um, my DC. Uh, where is it? I put I, down some. I rolled a dirty 20. <laughs> the 13 <laughs> uh, so this this fox truly undisturbed by fear okay then i'll just punch it <laughs> oh you're gonna use your arm strike yeah so you i mean i'm trying to just get it away but well, like do I you can't. still have a bonus action you didn't use that as your bonus action uh oh or is that just free i thought that was just free that was my assumption with the is I it not a bonus action wrong. let me check is there anything like uh, your monkey over the time you can use long rest? 
I would assume that's a bonus action. It doesn't say anything about what kind of action it is at all, actually. Let's assume it's bonus action. We'll take a look at it later. Sure, that works for me. But for now, let's call it a bonus action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, it wasn't really but you have movement punch. if you want to move. Uh, but then it's going to get an attack of opportunity, right? Unless I disengaged. It, it would. Yeah, no. It, it would. Just, it's just okay. one dude. Like, cool. Uh, yeah, Joe, Joe it's can help Porker, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> Joe's up. It's Joe's <laughs> turn. So, there are three on Porker. Still. Three directly next to you and, like, just ignoring you, just attacking this pig. Uh, I'm good. I just and, popped one. <laughs> and then you just, yeah. So, he made his one attempt. He is freaking out. He doesn't want his, I don't want my friends to be hurt, but I'm now panicked and I do something a little rash Ooh. and he unleashes a thunder wave because he doesn't know what else to do. He just wants it all to stop. <laughs> that hit <him>? Porker? <laughs> what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's, the ra- what's the radius of thunder wave? 15 foot. So it yeah, will not hit Harry because yeah. he's 20 feet away. Mm-hmm. What? It won't what? hit Harry, but okay. everyone else uh, <laughs> has to roll a con save. What's the um? What's the save? Uh, what's is it thirteen? It's 13. thirteen. Okay. Uh, well, with a plus zero on these con- on the con of these, uh, all three of the wo- foxes fail. Hey, I, I and I rolled a six. I am not rolling well tonight, so that uh, hurts. So now, how much damage are we taking? Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, on a failed save? Is that what we're looking at? Yep, you all failed. Two D8s. Okay. One sec. And then yeah. on a successful one, you take half damage? You take half yeah. damage. On a successful one, yeah, you take half did damage. You succeed, you su- did you succeed, Jordan? Oh, did you wait. also fail? No, 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 I succeeded. Oh, no, no. <laughs> one second. <laughs> I'm not even think of the entire force, bro. Three? Where's my two Wait, where's my two this is awesome. What does it look like when Joe casts Thunder Wave? Ooh, yeah. I mean, yeah. What does what, what does Jow look like? Jow. <laughs> Joe. His name is Joe. I've been very clear. Okay. Uh, so he panics. He steps back. He closes his eyes, and he pushes his hands out. And out of it comes intense wind that encapsulates a 15 foot radius, like it's a big. Wind torn, like big tornado, <laughs> like that. That's fun. Yeah, yeah that's fun. cool. Too bad that hurts. <laughs> yeah. So how much does it hurt? Oh, okay. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. So that's one. So that's six plus eight. <laughs> Fourteen <laughs> damage. Whoopsies. Okay. You Whoopsies. In, all three of these thing. fox, all three yeah. of these foxes are just instantly like attacking this pig, pretty successfully, honestly. And then instantly, in a second, this wind just like smacks all three of them into each other. And they just look so absolutely fucked up from this. Holy crap. Uh, hey, Porker, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> um. Kid, remind me to shoot you for that later. Right now, we have to kill these foxes. I mean, <laughs> knock them out. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Porker's gonna just go and shoot one of the foxes, hoping for the best this time around. Yeah, th- there's an un- an untouched fox on uh, Harry and... Three. No, Porker cares about himself right now with the three <laughs> foxes. Cool, 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 cool. Totally, totally. Take a shot. Take a shot. Jesus fucking Christ. That's a nat one. Oh. <laughs> Porker's going to use his once a day action surge and try again. Okay. He's action surging. Uh, yes. Yeah, just one bullet. Just bop. Right. <laughs> it could not be more perfectly directly fo- up. Like, if you waited long enough, it's going to hit you in the head. Guys, I don't know that one. Are you serious? I need to get new dice. Bro, throw those in the garbage. What? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> for anybody, for anybody, no, oh, you can nobody can see this. He just literally threw it off screen. He just dropped it into his house. I have to get up and get that because it's my only D20. Go, go pick it up. Go pick okay, it up. I'll get that. Do the walk of shame. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh, no. Two at once on his once a day action that's surge. That's insane. Also, uh, I think I, I think my understanding is that a using a key is an action unless like it's one of the ones that like no because using a oh, key really? point you can like it, like you can just make an attack a stunning strike. Um, right. right. Like okay. That's yeah. not that's not anything. You're just doing that. Okay. Then okay. I definitely does not take a bonus action. We'll take a look at it. It's all good. I'll punch him later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. So as Porker just. Drops his gun. <laughs> Just drops his gun. Uh, we move on to the three box near you. And. You're oh, right. man. Hold on. How many of the foxes did I knock out with my Thunder Wave? You didn't knock out any of them. All three oh. of them took a lot of damage. I They're weak, see. though. Okay. They are weak right now. And honestly, that's why all three of them are going to very cartoonishly jump, turn, and leap right at you. Oh. Um, and they, yep, at you, Joe. Uh, you made big And sounds. they are all going to take an attack with advantage on you. Uh, what's your armor class? Uh, I'm trying to do the math here. This guy just misses, uh, but... Wait, hold on. Where where is that? Because I can't remember. Armor class should be on the front page. Oh, armor class twelve. Okay. Twelve. Oh, okay. So two attacks hit for uh. Wow, that's pretty high damage. Uh, eleven piercing damage. Okay. And five necrotic. Um. So a total of 16 damage. Do I take that away from my hit points? Yes. You as these two them. foxes just latch in, and as the poison leaves their fa- like teeth, it almost re- is reminiscent of like a snake and its venom leaving oh. its fangs, just oh. going into your body. But it's not venom. It is clearly a necrotic ooze just Ooh. entering into your arms. Um, and on that, we have the last fox back next to, uh, Harry. Yeah. He's going to just take his attack flat. Okay. Does not get advantage on this one. A normal evil fox attack, you know? I wonder if they're, like, sort of, like, they're, like, using their energy and poison of themselves to, like, do that or something like that. They're, like, dying. I I will let you know later exactly why the three got... Uh, advantage and the one doesn't. I'm super curious. I really think Bert didn't mean for this interaction to be this difficult. <laughs> well, I mean, we, this didn't even need to happen. <laughs> yeah. oh. Probably not. We should not have spoken to the scary fox. It, it we did didn't not need to, to happen. We spooked the foxes. This or, did or not need spooked. to happen, guys. No one even asked Joe, like, hey, is that the thing you were talking uh, about? But we this, fox, <laughs> this fox, like, totally just misses. Like, With just big oh, whiff. God. Yep. Um, okay. And. Yeah, then it is Harry's turn. Harry, three foxes assaulting your friends. Yeah. You have, like, a fox that doesn't really know how to bite anything. Has missed every attack. <laughs> Can I use my bonus action first? Is that a thing? Yeah, totally. Like, okay, then I think I'm trying to punch it first. <laughs> okay, it's at, it is not taking a shot yet. Oh, shit. Okay. Because I, I, I want to go help. Right, I don't want to like do disengage, but like I'm not sure what else I can really do. So you can just take it and attack the community and just probably be fine. Right, but I'm not going. <sighs> okay, here's what we're going to do then. Yeah, uh, I I will take I will take that attack of opportunity. I'm going to run over to Pork. Okay, but you're gonna take that attack first. Uh, the all of them are on Harry right now, or on uh, Joe right now. Right. <laughs> fully, fully whiffs on you. Just fully not whiffs. even okay. come close. I'm mm. going to go over to Porker and cast Guidance on him. 
Oh. Ooh. Yeah. So yeah, I mean. are you willing? I think that's one willing creature. If you're a willing creature, I hope you are. Uh, once before <laughs> the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add that number to any one ability check of their choice. Um, that does okay. not include attack rules, you realize. It's, it's, not yeah, it's ability. It's ability check. Guidance Never mind is everything then. but attack rules. Never mind. Yeah. Then. I'm going to go over to Joe and just bop some things. <laughs> yeah, go bop some I'm going to do what I do best. I'm going to go bop some shit. <laughs> no problem. I'm glad we got that out of the way. Go bop yeah. some things. All right, I'm going to go bop some things. Come with the quarter stack. <laughs> I dropped the die. <laughs> right. He's having trouble today, guys. Uh, 10 oh, he's plus having trouble. Uh, 5, 15. That hits. Oh, right? totally hits. Yeah. Uh, there's not any one of them that's been more damaged than the other, right? They're all evenly damaged by the right. Thunder Wave. Okay, then that's going to But we, we also are playing with Cleave, for people who don't know. Oh, nice. Um, Do uh, as long it? as it like, makes somewhat sense. Okay, I wonder if you want to explain it or not. Okay, um, then that is a... Two plus my deck, so that's six. You, with perfect numbering Ooh. and accuracy, <laughs> take out one. Okay. We'll and then, one. I guess, can I... So I would need to flurry of blows here then, right? You could. Okay, instead of, because I couldn't use my, my, my bop thing. Uh, and flurry of blows is... Well, oh, no, you get, you get, since you attacked, you do get the one free, I will get that um, either way. Okay. Yeah, you didn't use your bonus action yet. Okay, and then I can also use the fire blows. Got it. Uh, nine plus five again, fourteen. Perfect hits. No, it's not. It's the this is the unarmed strike. So that is a thirteen. So that's not that hit. misses. Sag. Uh, then I'm going to do flurry of blows. Right, that gives me okay. a, another hit. Right. Yeah, but it's an unarmed strike again. Yeah, might as well. Is there a better one? Let me see if I have anything better. You oh no, don't. I get to make two unarmed strikes actually. Yes. Oh, as a bonus action. So, right, so you get one more. Oh, yeah, one more. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 16. That's going to hit. Kiss. Yep. And then that's the D4 plus my dex. Four. And then plus my four. So eight. Eight damage? There's one health left. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> oh, it is. It's dead. Let's go. You just see Harry, <laughs> like, bops it with one, like, bops this one fox with his stick, then tries to punch this other fox. And almost out of like nowhere, his hand clearly misses. Everyone sees the miss, but also at the exact same time, it feels like his hand was also right below that hand and dance. Magic. And it's just there. like, <laughs> and he just bops this fox straight through. And he actually, like the fox, as you hit it, like falls into the other fox, oh. gently damaging the other one. Nice. <laughs> uh. Joe, you got not you, entertained. <laughs> Joe, you've got a, a nearly dead fox in front of you. Right. And just a what? perfectly no like fine fox standing twenty feet over there. Ugh. Damn. <laughs> I really didn't want that thunder wave not to work. Okay. <laughs> it worked amazingly. I mean kind of. There are still foxes. <laughs> I wanted it to work better. Okay. Um, so I have one in front of me still attacking me, even if he's hurt, right? Yeah. yeah. He's, he still he's, has the ability to do he that. He knows okay. nothing but attack right now. <laughs> okay. So wait, do I have the ability to just like punch things? Like, can yeah, I? You, can, you can just punch him. You also have your spear. I, I don't want to do that. I know you, I don't. You can bop him with the spear. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's true. Okay, so you let's die, say. <laughs> yeah, that is not you, uh, if you want, like, Joe would clearly understand, even as a 10 year old here. Yeah. Even it's knocking probably. them out is gun. It's going to kill them. They're going to. I know that the disease is going to kill them, so. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so, okay, yeah, but I do want to. knock them out, the disease, like, insta shuts them down. Yeah, okay, so he's going to bop them with the spear. That, okay, the go one in front of him. You okay. Can make that is a normal spear attack. Okay. D twenty. Yep. Right. Okay. Sixteen. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even gonna make you roll damage. Uh, it's it's dead. Oh, okay. Uh, it was so low. <laughs> it, it might as well have been limping in front of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now, Porker, there's one single fox oh. just standing alone in the middle of this pathway. The five others are just dead around it. What do you do? 
Um, <laughs> are they dead or are they knocked out? Or are we say you could take a better look after, but from what it looks like, these are dead foxes now. They they look dead to me. They, these look dead. Uh, Porker, how far is the fox from me? Twenty feet. Twenty feet. Is that a full action to walk to the? Oh uh, no, with... you just get free movement. Oh, okay. Porker wants to walk up to the fox and just say, "Sorry, <laughs> life's a bitch, ain't it?" And take a shot right in the middle of its forehead. <laughs> God, I hope You're putting you it up against his forehead. <laughs> I'm gonna give you advantage. Also, I wasn't uh, adding my plus five to attack rolls. I still would have missed. Oh. oh no. Okay. Okay. I mean, two nat ones, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm, that'll do it. Thank God, a nat twenty. Oh. I be shit out of this box. <laughs> what, you get that what, 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 What's your what's your what's your damage dice on that re in your revolver? Uh, it's two d eight plus two. LB, how did you just murder this <laughs> this fox? Brooker walks up to the fox the fox and goes, "Welp, looks like this just ain't your day." It yeah, and then you just see head, it stares at Jow and just <laughs> stares at Jow. Sorry, I haven't typed as Jow on my notes. It is spelled like that. Yeah, no, you I just know. Correct. Oh, we've never seen it spelled. As soon as that's the spell, I'm gonna raise hell. <laughs> and just and just just you know, this fox just you hear a bang and the fox just drops dead on the ground. Beautiful. So yeah, these fox all, including the one that seems to have just reacted from the first right. gunshot, all just on the floor, stiff as boards. And we're going to be coming out of initiative. Okay. What do you guys do now? I mean, first off, I turn to my compatriots and be like, <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> Second, uh, I'm gonna I want to ask y'all some things. So, so this is the thing you were talking about, right? The disease or whatever? Yes. <laughs> Don't <Okay>. go near it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Would it do us any good to like take, uh, yes, messed up. Granted, just hear me out first though. Cause then we messed mm -hmm. up. Uh, to chop off the tail of one and take that rash with us to like show somebody or something. Okay, I can't look when you do it, but sure, I guess. <laughs> Mr. Porker, I got a job for you. Because <laughs> I am also basically a child. <laughs> Porker walks up to Harry and s just slaps him upside the head. <laughs> Boy, you need to get some goddamn sense. Any idiot from 20 feet away could see those foxes ain't right. Joe was telling me all her little forest critters uh, were sick too. And you just assume... You can just walk up and look at them. They got them animal instincts, you know what I'm saying? Well, check, if we're gonna be accurate here, I technically did walk up to them. I just decided to run away. So technically, I did. Porker okay, slaps him upside the head again, and it's like, that's for being a coward. <laughs> Harry just Joe. walks off, just sit in the corner, just staring off. With that tornado thunder move, it hit me, but that was the right thing to do at the time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, can I help? I have healing powers. I'm not good at that. But no, no, no. It's no. I, I, I killed your forest critter friend. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll Singular, take the blame yeah. for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, so, we, all right, kids, we, we should get moving to the village. Joe, what's the right way to go? As you say that, actually, Porker, you hear someone call, Oh, yes. I think I heard the gunshot from over here. Oh, and man, I hate this character. as you see, <laughs> as you hear this, you just see like seven Mogwai just kind of like, like kind of like little shimmy shaking walking over to you guys. And they go, oh, is that Joseph? <laughs> Joseph! Oh, we didn't know where you were. And you just see the most like ridiculously hoity toity, all with little bow ties on, or they have like little dresses, 
Mogwai is just gently like walking over to Harry or for, to Joe on top of horse, going, "Oh, our little oh, baby, we didn't know where you were. Go, come with us. Come with us." They are completely ignoring you guys, as if you guys just did not exist, Harry and Parker. Like, <laughs> <the> truthfully, <laughs> might as well, you guys might as well be the corpses. They do not care. <laughs> and they grab, they grab horses, uh, like, front foot, and just kind of, like, start sauntering towards the village. Uh, like, gently pulling uh, Joe and horse, like, with them. Uh, I mean, Harry's gonna follow him because he's gonna get lost otherwise. Joe... <laughs> immediately hears his townspeople and his parents in that group and uh, immediately tries to, to shrink away before he realizes he's just got to roll with this. They don't seem mad yet. So uh, I guess Actually, we're going your, to your parents are not a part of this group. Oh, this is just like some of the townspeople. They obviously know you. The village is not that large. He mutters to himself. Giant Oak Warrior, stop calling me Joseph. And then he turns around or he looks behind to Harry and Porker and is just kind of doing a this, like we're going. <laughs> mm-hmm. you, guys, yep, we go. you guys follow through? <laughs> yeah, I mean, where else am I going to go? Awesome. Uh, you know, Porker goes, this better be the right way to the bar. <laughs> yeah. So you guys follow the Mogwai uh, villagers. They, they, you instantly are like, realize you were like, maybe... 30 yards away from the village <laughs> and mm, it took <laughs> this entire fight for them to find you. It, it seems like all Mogwais, they understand the forest, but they don't understand directions. Oh, like nice. they, just, they always get like a little lost here and there. So Joe is an like, anomaly among her people. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is exactly what her people are. <laughs> like, it, anything that should be like a quick travel gonna be a little longer just it, just make sure you got your playlist ready it's impressive <laughs> that we got here <laughs> um so as you guys come to the village you see really well created huts made of beautiful bark it is clear every piece of the tree is always used they like every house seems to be built like connected to a stump and the stump acts as almost like the front porch and the rest of the tree created the like structure of this hut. Everything is always used, nothing is wasted. They are clearly very almost anal about like everything should be used to its fullest. Um and as they walk, uh the the villagers bring Joe and Joe, you would obviously recognize this as your hut, your family's hut. And you can obviously tell that by the beautiful engraved into the wood right above the door. For this is the house of the Warriorson family. Hmm. And <laughs> do you knock? It- <laughs> Parker, you wanted to go to the bar? We can go there first. I'm not allowed in until I'm 16. No, I feel like I'm an old looking 10. <laughs> no, no, kid. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you grew up in such poverty. I understand family's <laughs> important. <laughs> Actually, this is really rare wood that we're made out of these houses. This is nice wood. It, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> really quick, uh, everyone give me a nature check. All right. <laughs> Porker slightly high fives Harry. <laughs> <laughs> got him. I got 11. I got 11. 7. Uh, 7? I got a 16. 16? Yeah. Harry, you're the only person here that realizes, like, this is just straight up like a maple tree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I return like, the high five. <laughs> <laughs> like, Porker doesn't actually know uh-huh. fucking shit about wood. Uh huh. You know a maple tree when you see one. There were maple right. trees everywhere at your dojo. Right, like, right. That's a maple tree. That's yeah, clearly a maple tree. Yeah. Incredible <laughs> rare one. 
It's just straight up a tree. <laughs> we see, um, we, we all see this, right? <laughs> so are you guys just standing outside the house, or what are you guys going to well, do now? Corker goes up and knocks on the door. Corker knocks on the door. You I feel like we have to do instantly you hear. I've been electrocuted. Well, I need now, a well, meal well, and beer. Now, who, who's at the door now, M Mouse? <laughs> I don't know, Jumbo. I gotta go to the door. I gotta see who's there. And, and as you hear these two very similar sounding, almost as if they were siblings, oh. uh, talking. Oh. Just come to the door and you see this very middle-aged Mogwai male wearing khakis and a polo, got his hair kind of gently slicked back as if he just got back from work. It's a little run down because he worked pretty hard today. And you just see the biggest smile on his face. And he goes, well, well, if it isn't my little Joseph Oaksford warrior sin, now come give your daddy a hug. Giant Oak warrior. Hi, dad. <laughs> oh, yes. You're our little giant Oak warrior, aren't you? Oh, and he like he puts his hand up and like he's not whispering at all, but he does the thing where he like, puts his hand and pretends to whisper to the other two. Giant Oak Warrior is what Joseph thinks his name is, but his real name's Joseph Oaksford Warriorson. We're the Warriorson. Hi, my name is Mouse Warriorson. I'm I'm her pa. Oh, nice to meet you. Name put it there. Very very nice to meet both. But wow, yeah, aren't you just a strapping young pig? Oh, well, sir, you know, <laughs> oh. I age like wine, oh. what can I say? <laughs> yes, you do age like wine, because you have so much in your breath. Why don't you come in, and we'll get you some, some nice tea. Honey, our little Joseph's back. And you see him do like a little scurry, because his legs are so tiny. You you guys would know this if if Joe ever walked, but Joe's always on horse. Yeah. But all Mogwais kind of have like a little scurry to them because their legs are so <laughs> tiny. So uh. it's like, she's just kind of like scurrying across the floor. And you see like an identical Mogwai to a T just walk around the corner as you walk inside their house. And the only difference is that it has longer hair, just, <laughs> like actual hair. Oh, okay. Right? And this, and it, it, this one just goes, oh! Mouse, is that our little boy? It's our little Joseph! Oh, come here, little wine! Oh, oh, and I see you made some friends! That's Parker so nice! I didn't know Alabama was canon in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's I so, cannot tell the difference. <laughs> it's so nice to meet y'all. My name's Mouse Warrior Sin. Mouse, you can always just call me me, Ma Mousey Mouse. But Mouse for short. Hi, Mom. Um, can I get that promised cup of tea with a little hair of the dog, if you know what I'm talking about? Of course. Go on. We got y'all all this y'all need. Give us one sec, some woo woo. And you see her scurry off to the kitchen, and uh, you know, Mouse is just sitting there, be like, "Oh, Jumbo's always gotten be the best at making the tea. I just sit here and wait for it. It's always best if you're patient." <laughs> what? Sorry, what? What was your name again? A mouse. And the other one was what? Jumbo. Oh. I thought it was mouse and mouse. I'm getting really confused here. <laughs> no, I'm mouse. She's jumbo. Okay. Oh, she's jumbo. She's jumbo, jumbo and mouse. Clearly a woman's name. <laughs> Is it now? <laughs> Y'all never met Mogwise before? No. What are you? <laughs> We're Mogwise. You can't just ask us who, what we are. That's rude. <laughs> oh, now come on. They're just asking questions. Uh, uh, are you two related? <laughs> What now? Of course, we're all related here. We're all part of the Mogwai Eagle Ball Village. Fair enough. Thank I'm not going to ask any That's further. Good, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. We're Eagle Ball <laughs> Mogwais. <laughs> we're the Eagle Mogwais. Porker just sits down indignantly and just makes himself at home. <laughs> hey, we try to parse through this and just getting very confused. <laughs> but you were saying, this, this, their house is like just so 
like what you'd expect from like a normal person's house is just all made of wood though like there is a couch but it's made of wood and there's a uh -huh. tv but it's made of wood and doesn't show anything <laughs> and there's a table and it's made of wood uh -huh. and there's a lamp and it's made of wood uh -huh. and there's a staircase and guess what it's made of wood uh -huh. and it's just every amenity is there but for some reason none of it is not wood uh-huh all just like slightly different barks right like from okay. different trees <laughs> said i was poor look at our wooden tv that's not what a poor person has <laughs> <laughs> what, what what channel are we watching here joe <laughs> what are you talking about that that's just what a tv is you just look at it <laughs> Harry turns away is just so sad. Just so very sad. <laughs> and they had a world and they saw TVs and they came back and they made this. Like what people have when, with money. You, you <laughs> see, made... kid, world is like perspective. Now we have little Joey over here. Dino Warrior. <laughs> Who hasn't had much. And look how, look how happy he is. Just at the slightest... Honestly, ignorance seems bliss. <laughs> yeah, ignorance is bliss. I drink and I forget my wife is dead sometimes. So I couldn't be happier. Maybe, maybe I should take this statement back. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> Jumbo, right? Mouse. 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 My apologies. Mouse. Um, no, it's okay. I get it all the time. I wish I was as pretty as Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> The rash. <laughs> rash. Yeah. The, you have, I can take a look, but I no, don't know if I know much about your rash. No, I don't have. No. A Listen. Remember the thing that I said was happening to the forest you creatures. You need the speckle spots. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh. It's worse than that. Y'all touch the speckle spot. Mm. Almost I don't know, did. Do you know? I, I don't think I did. Let me take a look at your rash, make sure you don't got the special no, spots. I, I don't have a rash, I'm asking about yeah, the starts, rash. Just, <laughs> this lady starts like looking at your butt. Like, he, just, like, <laughs> he just gives it. Just, so no, that out. just looks like eczema. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Harry's not deeply concerned. <laughs> so what, what's up with the speckle spots? I went to a guild, that's where I was. I, I wanted help. You were here? Okay. <laughs> Hurtful. <laughs> well, yeah, hurtful. I just thought y'all. I thought you were hunting with Reaper. Uh, I don't hang out left. with Reaper anymore. Oh, is this still about that nonsense? Well, not nonsense. Rude and mean, and not as strong as me. No matter what he says. <laughs> okay, you and Reaper out your little tiff. I did a thunder wave, and I may have accidentally hurt my friends. But I did something with it this time. It you hurt your friend. Y'all got hurt. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> Jumbo, put the healing ointment in the tea. I'm. He got hit. It's I've already been checked. You can check his butt next. <laughs> oh, I check his butt. He goes over and checks your butt while you're sitting down. Like he kind of like scurries behind you. <laughs> nah, your butt looks clean. Nice butt. <laughs> I'm glad you cleaned something. I, Jesus. We're talking about something really important. Yeah, we're talking about his butt. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If one, the one thing a teacup porking keeps clean is his ass, ma'am. Thank you. I can tell you do a good job with that little buddy. So Mama the speckle right. spot, right? So speckle. I mean, what, what, what about it? It seems bad, and it shouldn't be a thing. It seems like necrotic or something. <laughs> I, I mean, it's not good, but you know. It'll, it'll pass. Right? Man, what has this been going around for? Uh. Huh. You uh, want well, to help, uh, help, guys? Because they're I, not taking it seriously. Well, now, hold on. It, how long has it been? Hey, Jumbo! Yeah, Mouse! Hey, uh. How long? How long has the Speckle Spot been around? Oh, the speckle spot, Mouse! Mouse, the speckle spot only been around for like, I don't know, 21 moons? <laughs> it's not small. I mean. Well, they're gonna help. It's only been like 21 moons. What do you want me to do? They're, they're here to help us. They're gonna help us. I got help from a guild. 
that I traveled to. I don't know if the elder wants that. There's an What's elder, you say? <laughs> well, yeah, we got, what kind of village don't have an elder? A lot, but it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> can you you made a weird village, my friend. <laughs> can you introduce us to this elder? Yeah, yeah can we Ooh. do that? I feel like they might know a little more or something. That'd be good. You don't mean Doc. Doc is not going to be helpful. <laughs> Don't you say that about Doc. Doc a good. Doc's a good guy. Doc's Doc's just a little uh, old. Okay. You know, old is fine. Little, You'll see. He's he, he's not gonna be the elder much longer. You know. Oh. Uh, he, uh, he's a, his decision making's getting hard. I look forward to the day I can retire too. Yeah. You know, retirement's good for some. You know, I'm thinking about retiring. You know? Okay. Um, how old are you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, a couple thousand moons? <laughs> how old is your son? <laughs> oh, well, our son's only like a couple hundred moons. <laughs> Harry's pacing just like in just so much, just, oh, just so much pain. <laughs> Joe, how, how long's a day in your village? It's a regular day. Okay. Listen, well, no, that, like, how, many, how many moons in a day? A moon. <laughs> generational issue. What's and the conversion rate of sons to moons I'm, in this village? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like 10 years old from what I figured out because. A year. What? Uh, with Joe, Joseph, we talking moons in this household. Giant oak warrior and like 12 moons is like a year. <laughs> Wait, 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 <laughs> mind blown. <laughs> I didn't pick a walk here. Can we just go off on some pacing? <laughs> Chris is really what? drunk trying to contemplate math and conversion and unit conversions right now. Harry's completely sober and oh, just a fucked up. The sun and take the moon. Mom, what is the harvest moon? Mom, feels like y'all are really interested in the moons. Um, I can get, I can get some charts. I mean, I, speaking of moons, I do click with clean ass. I mean, I saw it. It's a nice, it's a nice honestly, full moon right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now how? No, it's not cute. Go, go, go <laughs> leans to the side when he hears that innuendo and goes, what does that mean? Harry, Harry's outside. <laughs> He's pacing. It means this You're kid. outside? Yeah, Harry walks outside and started pacing, yeah. Wait, if, oh, so Harry, you walk outside. Give me a perception check. Oh, shit. You know what? Something something else besides just moon talk. Thank fucking God. <laughs> 19 on the die. <laughs> I see you, everything. <laughs> it was clear as day. You would have always saw this no matter what. Right? Okay. But you see pretty much what looks like the village. Okay. Walking towards like the center. Or what you could assume is the center of their village. Uh, oh. And there is a small amount of smoke as you then hear a nice full like horn that just goes. OK. And as that happens inside, Mouse and Jumbo go, oh, I didn't realize it was that time of moon. And they just stand up and they start like just scurrying out the door. Uh, and they hand uh, Porker his tea, but they also kind of put their hand on his back and like push him out the door with him. He's like, "Come on, we gotta go." Well, okay, Harry's gonna poke okay, his head okay, in okay, and go. be like, "I heard a Joe, horn." Joe. <laughs> they instantly just start yes, walking through you. Yeah, like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Rolls his eyes and goes. Ugh this. Come on, guys. Let's go. Wait, Wait I need booze for my tea. I need booze for my tea. I need answers. <laughs> and you guys are just kind of like forcefully like put into this like not mob because the, the entire village is only about 50 mob wise total. Okay. Uh, you What's come the to the center. The What's the mood of the people walking? Everyone's excited. Everyone's super pumped about this. This is this is the best time of, of the like of the uh, moon. Like this is Fuck exciting. <laughs> Harry kid, trust me, play along. I've been around cults before. Just pretend you like them. Shake, 
shake your head, say yes, and we get out of here as soon as we can. Okay, Harry <laughs> nodded his head emphatically. It's like, it's okay, fine. okay, okay. <laughs> Everyone in the village seems to circle around. Everyone kind of gives themselves their own space. It seems like families are kind of staying together for it, though. Everyone's super excited. And there's a big, for Mogwai's big, but honestly a pretty average size, <laughs> like, bonfire <laughs> in the center of the village. And above it, on, like, a little pedestal, not directly above the fire, but, like, it's, you know, right. like a stage, basically, near it, okay. is... A mogwai in beautifully elegant leather like robe all clearly came from exactly one animal. No, like this entire robe was one singular animal that was hunted. It's and like a body suit. It's a full <laughs> body, like just bodied, beautifully tailored leather. Uh, Big furry. And it's energy, clearly... It's clearly old and has been passed down from leader to leader to leader. And is no question. All of you know a leader when you see one. This is Elder Doc. Yeah, the elder this is a cult. of the Mogwai <laughs> village. I am very concerned. <laughs> Not a cult. But Doc doesn't do anything about anything. He's a million moons old and I'm just done. He reaches his hand into the top of his robe, pulls something out, throws it into the fire. Beautiful colors erupt as if like miniature fireworks in front of him. And you hear him speak these simple words. The speckle spot going to get us! <laughs> the speckle spot! It go gas all. The smuggle spy. That's where we're gonna end our session. No. <laughs> we actually keep on going. Thank you guys for coming through. Holito's gonna be back. Please. Coming please. soon. Until then, oh like, comment, subscribe for Matt. Anyone else got anything they wanted to say? This won't be edited for maybe a month or so it's election day tomorrow make sure you register to vote and you actually get out there and vote if you haven't make sure you voted yeah, yeah. if you have not voted we have an issue you should have and you should have this is posted shame on you for not voting <laughs> yeah um, I think that's yeah, cool. thing. yeah so alright we'll see you next time in Holidos guys bye all peace bye <laughs>